गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू डिबाई हकल ऑन सेगर थ्योरी ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स डिबाई हकल प्रोवाइडेड द मच सॉट आफ्टर एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर द बिहेवियर ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स डिबाई हकल थ्योरी वॉज बेस्ड ऑन द अजम्सन दैट डिसोशिएसन ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रोलाइट वॉज कम्प्लीट इन द सोल्यूशन एंड द थ्योरी अटेम्प्टेड टू अकाउंट फॉर फॉलिंग ऑफ ऑफ द इक्वेलेंट कंडक्टेंस एट एप्रिशिएबल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ ए डिक्रीज इन आयनिक वेलोसिटी रिजल्टिंग फ्रॉम इंटर आयनिक इंट्रैक्शंस इट गैव ए मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन टू कोरिलेट द एक्टिविटी कॉफिशेंट ऑफ आयथ आयन इन ए सोल्यूशन विद इट्स चार्ज and ionic strength of the solution here is the equation this equation is called as a limiting law because while deriving this equation things are over simplified it has been consistently assumed that these approximations are applicable only when dilute solutions are there and their dilution approaches to infinity so this equation is not expected to hold good for the concentrated solutions practically this equation has been substantiated by the data obtained for electrolytic solutions having concentrations less than 1 millimol per kg or with ionic strength less than 0.001 so a better theory was needed to explain the behavior of strong electrolytes which could not be accounted by debye huckel theory at higher concentrations lars on seger modified divai hakal theory to make it better let us have a look into the life of lars onsager lars onsager was born on november 27th 1903 in oslo norway he was a norwegian born american physical chemist and theoretical physicist lars onsager is known for onsager reciprocal relations which are the basis of thermodynamics of irreversible processes he is also known for the exact solution to the 2d eiling model and for revealing the physics behind the de haas van alphen effect Lars Onsager was a Nobel laureate. He was awarded with Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1968. Now we come to our main topic that is Debye-Huckel Onsager theory. As we discussed Lars Onsager modified Debye-Huckel theory to make it better. in 1925 he arrived at a correction to debye huckel theory of electrolytic solutions to be exact that brownian moment of ions in solution and during 1926 he published it not only this lars onsager traveled to zurich where peter debye was teaching and confronted debye telling him his theory was wrong he impressed debye so much that he was invited to become debye's assistant at eth where he remained until 1928 onsager retained the postulates of debye huckel theory in the modified theory also these are the postulates like 
हंड्रेड परसेंट डिसोशिएशन ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स इन सोल्यूशन एंड आयनिक इंट्रैक्शन इन सोल्यूशन विच लीड टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ आयनिक एटमोसफियर बट डिबाई एंड हकल सपोज दैट आयंस इन सोल्यूशन ट्रेवल इन स्ट्रेट लाइन्स एंड दे नेग्लेक्टेड द जिग जैक ब्राउनियन मोशन ऑफ आयंस विच इज ब्रॉट अबाउट बाई द कोलिजन्स ऑफ सराउंडिंग सॉल्वेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स विद द आयंस ऑनसेगर एडेड दैट द आयंस मूव इन ए ब्राउनियन मूवमेंट इन द सोल्यूशंस ड्यू टू देयर कोलिजन विद द सराउंडिंग सॉल्वेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स the effect of brownian movement should be taken into consideration while calculating the expression for relaxation force acting on the ions onsager further added that the three forces act upon moving ions which retard the velocity of this moving ion these forces are number 1 a relaxation force number 2 electrophoretic force and number 3 frictional force of the solvent the first two forces that is relaxation force and electrophoretic forces were also considered by debye and huckel in their theory but onsegar added the third force which is also responsible for the decrease in the ionic velocity so these are the main postulates added by onsegar to the already existing debye huckel theory of strong electrolytes as we know there are three forces which act upon a moving ion in the solution these are namely electrophoretic force relaxation force and frictional force of the solvent these forces acting on the central ion or the moving ion oppose its velocity and hence retard it out of these three forces debye and huckel attempted to calculate the magnitude of electrophoretic force which oppose the motion of the ion through a solution but debye and huckel assumed the applicability of stokes law and derived the following relationship or expression for the electrophoretic force on an ion of the ith kind the same result was derived by onsegar using an alternative manner and he showed that it is not necessary for stokes law to be strictly applicable in the in the immediate vicinity of the ion so in this way onsegar modified the calculation of electrophoretic force which is applied on the moving ion according to him electrophoretic force expression could be calculated without using stokes law which may or may not be applicable to the moving ion this is also one way on sager affected or modified debye huckel theory apart from this debye and huckel carried through a theoretical treatment that led to them to expressions for the second force exerted upon the moving ion that is relaxation force or relaxation effect debye and huckel supposed that the ions to travel through the solution in straight lines and they neglected the zigzag 
Brownian motion of the ions which is brought about by the collision of surrounding solvent molecules. But this allowance was made by Onsegar who deduced the equation for relaxation force considering the Brownian moment of the ions. And here is the expression for relaxation force which was deduced by Onsegar. It is a bit different from the expression that was deduced by Debye and Huckel and the expression deduced by Onsegar is considered as better because while deriving this expression he considered the natural Brownian movement of the ions. So this is one more way how Onsegar modified debye huckel theory to its better results. So we have discussed how Onsegar modified debye and huckel theory for strong electrolytes. Now after these modifications this theory is known as debye huckel Onsegar theory. And based on the postulates of this theory, later on Onsegar derived an expression for the equivalent conductance of electrolytic solutions. We will study its derivation in our next lecture. This is all about debye huckel Onsegar theory and here are the references used to prepare this lecture. Thank you.